Out here, where the dirt road ends, you'll find these guys. Locked, loaded, and ready for whatever comes their way. Are you ready? If you ain't trigger happy, then you better start packing Cause it's time to kill them all, we'll be here all fall I'm big buck bound, call them up and shoot them down Me and the boys are gonna run this town hunting Dirt road, nothing but the best to bite The crack it, don't expect nothing less Than a front leg, four arm shiver Gonna throw them in the back, feel like a NASCAR winner I'm gonna have to admit Heart's been sold, I ain't hunting nothing else but that dirt road. This is Dirt Road Outdoors TV. Dirt Road Outdoor TV is brought to you by Dext Imaging, Pipeline Ridge, Lethal Products, and Advanced Wildlife Solutions. Well, the journey begins. We're Wyoming bound, going out to do one of my favorite hunts of the year. I just love chasing big mule deer. Can't hardly wait to get out here. Going out to the same place we've been going for a few years, out to, in between Buffalo and Gillette on the Powder River. Got my old buddy Jerry Harold going to be out here running the camera for me this week. Going to meet up my old buddy Todd Thompson. Should be a heck of a hunt. Well, I finally made it to the Wyoming border, and I'm kind of a history nut, and I come across the border at the exact same place where 175 years ago the Oregon Trail come across. You know, about three and a half hours later, I made it to the Wyoming Motel, unloaded all my gear, Jerry pulled up, him and his boy, it was time to go do a little scouting. All right, go to the promised land. We're rolling. You know, the first place we're going to go scout is we're going to go up to a big stock tank where all these deer have been coming to drink. It's been pretty dry out here. And, you know, we pull up there and get glass in. And, and there's a big old bachelor group with five nice bucks in it off to our left hand side. You know, it's kind of cool. Jerry had an eye scope, but he put that on a spot and scope and was able to suck those bucks right in and take some pretty cool pictures. You know, we're going to put those bucks in our back pocket, use them as an insurance policy. Tomorrow morning, we're going to get up bright and early, heading down to the Powder River Breaks. Well, I got back to the hotel that night, got all my gear ready for tomorrow. You know, we got about an hour drive in the morning. We're heading down to Powder River Breaks. Jerry's planning on picking me up at a quarter after five. Can't wait. Good morning. Good morning there, big boy. Let's go hunting. I'm ready. Well, right on time, my old trusty cameraman shows up, and it's time to go hunting. You know, our plan this morning is just to get down, get on a high ridge, park the truck, and just glass from the truck, and try to spot some deer. You know, it didn't take long. We've seen a doe off to our left. A few minutes later, we spotted the first buck of the morning. We ended up watching that buck for a while and it was time to head on to the next draw. You know, sure enough, we're walking up to the next draw and we peek over the hill and there's another decent 3x3 three three in there. Tell you what, that'd have been awesome right there if he'd been just a little bit bigger. But that worked out just perfect. Me and Jerry were able to sneak right in, get within 70 yards of him. The buck went up, stopped right there at 80 yards on the hillside. He'd have been, he'd have been a little bigger. But we're off and rolling out here in Wyoming, hunting the Powder River breaks. There's a ton of deer out here, and we're gonna hop back in the truck and go look at another one. That's a lot of fun. Dirt Road is also brought to you by Midwest Whitetail Adventures, Seth McGinn's Can Cooker, Paul Davis Restoration of South Atlanta, The Associates Group, number one for all your insurance needs. 
Pipeline Ridge, Northern Pennsylvania's premier whitetail and exotic preserve. Pipeline does it all. <laughs> I hunt Pipeline Ridge, and you should too. We hunted the rest, now we hunt the best. True. Whether you're looking for the hunt of a lifetime or just a weekend getaway, give the guys at Pipeline Ridge a call. Hi, I'm Mark Knight with Midwest White Televentures. If you're looking for a hunt of a lifetime, I've got it. With a brand new 5,600 square foot lodge and over 30,000 acres, there is numerous Boone and Crockett bucks killed every year. If you want a chance to put yourself in the record books, come hunt with Midwest White Televentures here in Kansas, because we are Kansas finest. Mark Knight at 678-300-5787. Forest Draw from Advanced Wildlife Solution is a long distance deer attractant with double the protein and 10 times the attractant of corn. Here's a few deer that fell victim to Forest Draw. This fall, if you want to put a big buck in the back of your truck, don't take a chance with the rest. Make sure you have the best. Get yourself a bag of Forest Draw from Advanced Wildlife Solutions. This segment is brought to you by the Associate Group, ensuring family, business, and the transportation industry for over three generations. Well, our plan for the rest of the morning is just to glass as many draws as we can and just hope we'll find a big shooter. We set up on this one big knob where you could pretty much see about a mile every direction and you know right off the bat I glassed down and there was a big old shed. Well Jerry ended up spotting two bucks, I mean I'll bet you close to a mile away. So we decided to get back in the truck, try to drive around and get closer and get a better look. You know, we were literally able to sneak in within 45 yards of this buck. Just a beautiful three-year-old deer, a deer that's going to be a giant in a couple years. He just needs a little time to grow up. Tell you what, that first buck had a lot of potential. He was actually a five by, actually a six by five. He had really good brow tines. He had a good kicker on his left side, but. We actually spotted a buck earlier this morning, two of them, and went up in this draw, and we really couldn't tell how big they were, so we decided to sneak in here and tell you what, we got within 65 yards. It would have been a big shooter. I mean, it would have been all over with. I mean, it was a nice buck, but he's one of them deer that just needs probably two years. Well, we end up only seeing two more small bucks that are bedded and a couple of antelope, and we're 70 miles from town now up in the mountains, so I brought my can cooker with. And my cooktop, I'm going to throw us something together for lunch real quick, and we're right back after these deer. About a quarter after four, we were heading to a canyon that last year we'd seen a couple big bucks in, and we come around the corner, and there were deer running everywhere. Apparently they heard us coming. I think we counted 22 deer in that group. There was four or five bucks, one pretty nice four by three. You know, just not a first day buck. You know, that second morning we went out, it was just a beautiful sunrise and there was deer everywhere.
you know, on that second morning, we seen two different bucks that were right there on the borderline of being shooters. You know, it was hard passing them, but I know what's on these ranches. And if we're going to kill giants, we got to let bucks like that go. Now, they're talking a huge front coming in today. The temperature is supposed to drop 35 degrees from 8 o'clock in the morning until 4 in the afternoon. These deer are on their feet. They're moving. Should be an awesome morning. Well, it's just about 9 o'clock, and my buddy Todd Thompson calls saying he's just about the hotel. So we're going to go back, pick him up. You know, our plan is for the next two days, we're hunting dark to dark. We're going to scratch out a couple big ones. Well, we're heading back to town to pick up Todd. We go across the creek crossing coming out of the ranch, and somehow we got water in the carburetor. The, the truck starts smoking and will not go over five miles an hour. Well, it takes us about an hour to get the truck fixed and the truck running, and by that time, you can already see the storm front moving in. Well, Todd's ready to roll. Storm's moving in. Let's go find some bucks. But one thing about it, this front's got these deer up on their feet. We're seeing a lot of deer, just ain't seeing the big shooters yet. Got a buck spotted up here, a little three-point. I think it's a three-by-four. We've seen a ton of bucks this afternoon, but they've all been young. You know, as this front keeps moving in, we're going to head towards the alfalfa fields. We figure as this front moves in, these deer are going to have to head to feed. Pipeline Ridge, Northern Pennsylvania's premier whitetail and exotic preserve. Pipeline does it all. <laughs> I hunt Pipeline Ridge, and you should too. We hunted the rest, now we hunt the best. True. Whether you're looking for the hunt of a lifetime or just a weekend getaway, give the guys at Pipeline Ridge a call. With the Anchor Sight, your ability to hunt more effectively with greater accuracy is about to change. The Anchor Sight will increase your long range accuracy, open your field of view to the target, and increase your ability to shoot accurately in low light. Eliminating the peep sight will make you a better hunter. Getting and setting up your cost-effective anchor sight is easy. Go to anchorsight.com and order your anchor sight right now. You know, about three o'clock, the snow really started picking up and our visibility started going down. So we decided to park the truck, get out and go and walk a couple draws. You know, we come up over the first little rise and look, and here's a bachelor group of whitetails. You know, there's a couple pretty nice bucks in that group right there, but you know, we're looking for big mule deer bucks, so we're going to head off to the next draw. Well, we head up into the next draw where we figure the mule deer should be hanging out. And sure enough, we come over the rise, look up, and there goes two bucks running out the other end. Decent bucks, just not quite what we're after. Now it's time to head back to the truck and we'll check out the next ranch. I'll tell you what, on the way back to the truck, it turned into an all out blizzard. Well, we decided to pull up to one of the ranch hand, Wade's house, grab Wade. He's been seeing a couple good bucks on this ranch. He's going to go and show us where he's been seeing them. <laughs> what are you guys doing? How you been? Good. Hey, you I... know, Wade's one of the ranch hands out here that actually works cattle every single day. So he's out in various different pastures and he pretty much knows where all the big bucks are. You know, he's been telling us about a big dark horn 5x5 five five that's been hanging out in this one back hay field. So with a little luck, we're going to go back there and we're going to spot him tonight. Well, just like clockworks, we're heading back over. We're starting to see a group of does here, a group of does there, come over the hill. And there they are, big bastard group of bucks with a giant 5x5 in it. You know, this 5x5 
Hawk's got everything you look for in a big mule deer. You know, he's got great tops, good fronts, dark horn, heavy horns. You know, so this is definitely the buck we want to go after. Now we've got to park the truck and try to figure out how to get into position. You know, there's a perfect knob where we can hide the truck, and I'm going to try to belly crawl out on this knob and see if I can't get into position. Sure enough, I crawl out there, set up at 350 yards, buck turns broadside, time to make the shot. You know, that buck's 357 yards, standing broadside, I'm just going to pull the trigger, and Jerry calls me off, says can't get the camera to focus. Don't shoot, Jason. <laughs> Don't shoot, man. It's not focusing on me. I'm sitting here thinking, why does this always have to happen to me? So by the time they get the camera back around in focus, the deer all spook. You know, after that deer spooked, that big buck just never gave me a broadside shot until he got to the top of the hill and stopped and turned broadside at 460 yards. And with a 20 mile an hour crosswind, I just didn't feel comfortable with the shot. So we're going to have to back out of here, come back in the morning, see if we can get on this buck again. Well, that was the shooter we were after. Just didn't have, just didn't have enough gun. He got out there to 460. We still got all day tomorrow and Thursday morning if we have to. So instead of pushing the shot with this wind, we're going to back out and come back in the morning. So let's sneak out of here. You know, I'll be honest with you, I was just about ready to pick out a taxidermy for him, figuring out where I was going to put that big buck in the trophy room, but now it looks like I'm probably going to be having some nightmares tonight. This segment is brought to you by Love of the Hunt Outfitters, New Mexico's premier big game outfitter. Well, after having nightmares all night about the big buck that got away, that next morning we woke up to an inch of fresh snow. You know, Jerry showed up right on time to get us, and we're heading back to that same ranch, hoping we can find that buck again this morning. Well, our plan this morning is to more or less hunt these mule deer whitetail style. You know, we know where there's a big rock cropping up on this one ridge where we can watch over two draws. So we're going to sneak in there and just set up. And anything that comes to the left, Todd's going to shoot. Anything that comes to the right, I'm going to shoot. And hopefully that big buck will come off the alfalfa field this morning. What do you think, Todd? I think we got these rocks right here. He's either going to come through this draw or that draw. Let's set up. So if he comes to the right, I'll shoot. If he comes to the left, you shoot. So gotcha. You know, about as soon as we got set up, we started seeing does and small bucks feeding off the fields. Well, we'd been sitting near glass and the deer coming off the field for about 10 minutes, and all of a sudden me and Todd look up, and about the exact same time, we see what we think is the big buck from last night. So now we got to get Jerry in position and the camera, and this is when it all heads up. Jerry picks up his binoculars, sees the big buck, goes to put the camera on, and somehow he gets the camera on the wrong gear. Pretty sure it is because he was inside his ears, he wasn't wide, he's got those really tall fronts. How far is he, Todd? 305. I'm going to try it. whole time Todd and I are looking at a completely different deer than what Jerry's got the camera on and we have no idea that he's on the wrong deer. So the big buck turns broadside at 350 and I give him a try. First shot I shot right over top of his back. Second shot I smoke him. Deer runs 20 yards and that's when Jerry just gets the camera swung over, you see the big buck, and you see him tip over. Back 
I love Wyoming. Good buddies in the outdoors, they don't get no better than that right there. That's the same buck last night we snuck up on. Had some camera issues. We had a bunch of issues. Yesterday was just one of those days where it was a Murphy's Law day. What could go wrong did go wrong. Had camera malfunction. The buck got out of range on us. Um, but we redeemed ourselves. Never give up. Never give up. We're out here in Wyoming. We're going to be a little bit quiet because my buck's laying dead right there. But there's deer coming. I can see deer starting to funnel across the road. My old buddy Thompson's got a tag right there. So if this works out, we might get two of them yet this morning. But I'm excited. That's my first buck of the year. And I'll tell you what, I love Wyoming. So we're all excited. We got a big buck on the ground and you know we're filming more deer that are coming across the road. We got three bucks coming our way and Jerry says, hey, you might want to check out the video. I don't know how good it is. So I go to check the footage out real quick and that's when I realize he wasn't on the right deer. Well, we got some bad, bad news on the mountain in Wyoming. Just went to go and review the footage and see what the kill shot looked like. And this guy was on the wrong deer of all things. Um, man, you know what, I can't put too much blame on him because he's not a cameraman. Unfortunately, my cameraman bailed on me on Tuesday, so Jerry did the best he could. Try to be a guy, try to be a cameraman, and unfortunately he was on the wrong deer. You know, some days you get chicken, some days you get feathers. Today we got a mouthful of feathers, but you know, I'm going to send Todd over to get the truck. I want to get down there and put my hands on that big old buck. Right there. That's why you come to Wyoming. Look at that. How tall he is. Great. He's got 13 inch front on that side, really good tops. Just a beautiful old mature buck. Perfect 5x5. Five five. That's what you come to Wyoming for right there is to get a buck like that. He's got it all. It's been kind of a Murphy's Law hunt for me so far. It kind of seemed like what could go wrong did go wrong. We got a great buck on the ground, but unfortunately. There was three bucks there and the camera guy accidentally got on the wrong wrong deer. He was on the other two, so we didn't get to see the impact, but he did get back on him as this deer piled up. But it's the same buck we seen last night down in the field. And we snuck up on him and we got within 357 yards and he just had too many deer in front of him and finally he fed off and we just couldn't get a shot. But I tell you what, that's why you come to Wyoming right there. Big old five by five. Next week, the action continues out here in Buffalo, Wyoming, as Todd Thompson tries to find another giant. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We're going to finish you off with a quick can cooker recipe. See you right back here next week on Dirt Road Outdoors TV. Dirt Road Outdoor TV is brought to you by Dext Imaging, Pipeline Ridge, Lethal Products, and Advanced Wildlife Solutions. Dirt Road is also brought to you by Midwest Whitetail Adventures, Seth McGinn's Can Cooker, Paul Davis Restoration of South Atlanta, The Associates Group, number one for all your insurance needs.